Hold on. Package. Go ahead. Back door. <laughs> Sorry. You're all set, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Sorry. Larry just completely disarmed me. All right. Uh, good evening and welcome to the Tuesday, March 23rd uh, Board of Selectmen meeting for the Town of Rockland. Please direct your attention to Selectman Larry Ryan uh, for the Pledge of Allegiance. Larry, do the honors, please. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Larry. Uh, joining us at the meeting is uh, Selectman Larry Ryan, uh, Vice Chairman of the Board of Selectmen, Kara Nyman, Jean Blaney from uh, the Recreation Department, Youth Commission, uh, Elizabeth Zaleski, Town Accountant, Jean Constable, Assistant Town Administrator, and Doug Lapp, Town Administrator. Uh, Mike Mullen cannot make it tonight, and Rich Penny uh, might be joining us shortly. Um, Please be advised that this open meeting is being broadcast live and recorded by WRPS for playback on Comcast Channel 14 and Verizon Channel 31. It is available live online at wrpsrockland.com and within 24 hours by a video on demand at wrpsrockland.com YouTube uh, backslash Rockland uh, for further information. Uh, first on the agenda, uh, community announcements, Doug. Thanks, Mike. Uh, two quick ones for me, uh, highlighting that the special town meeting warrant closes on April 5th at 11 a.m. And also just a reminder to the community uh, that the annual town election is Saturday, April 10th, and polls will be open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, and then I was hoping, if it's okay with you, uh, that uh, Jean Blaney had a brief community announcement she'd like to make, and then uh, Jen Constable also has a an announcement as well. So I'll turn it over to Jean first and then Jen. Thanks, Doug. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks so much for letting me on tonight. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and board. I just wanted to come on tonight to talk about the egg hunt that we have coming up on Saturday. We, um, the egg hunt due to COVID restrictions, we had to restrict the number of people that we had in the park. Um, but with some of those restrictions being lifted, we were able to add more spots. So if anyone's interested in attending the um, egg hunt on March 27th, um, they can go ahead on onto our rocklandrec.org website and register. Um, you need to register everyone in your party that's coming for contact tracing pur purposes. Um, but I, I especially wanted to thank the, the sponsors. Um, National Get Grid donated $2,500, which afforded us um, a, a lot more. Um, we were allowed to hire an Easter Bunny, and we were allowed to um, hire a balloon artist. And um, in addition, we'll be able to sponsor some go hidden golden eggs. Um, so we'll be able to do that. And then Stop and Shop um, gave us $75. We put that towards candy. Um, and the Big Y um, sponsored us $50, in which case we sponsored, uh, we um, used that towards candy as well. So I just, I would like to publicly thank those um, institutions. It was, it was um, fabulous. It should be a great event. And um, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. It's supposed to be sunny. 60 degrees, cross your fingers. Let's not speak too soon, but uh, I, I hope, I hope for your sake, Jean. Yep. <laughs> so, thank you, Jean, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Jean. Uh, good evening. I just have a quick update regarding the town's local rapid recovery planning grant work. As the board may recall, the town was awarded $60,000 in consulting service technical assistance to develop the plan. Um, that work has begun. We're, we're, be, the town will be working with Beta Group. Um, and just as a reminder, it's uh, recovery efforts focused right now on Union Street in the downtown area to recover from um, effects of the pandemic. There is a business survey that's posted on the town's website. Um, we would ask all Union Street businesses or any business in the immediate Union Street area uh, to please complete the survey. The first step in the process is to collect 
some baseline data on the actual effects um, that the pandemic had on businesses in the downtown area so that the plan could be developed accordingly. Um, without businesses completing that survey, uh, our, our data and approach might be incomplete or a little misguided. So um, really urging all the businesses to, to complete the survey. Again, that's posted on the town's website and um, they may even see my face coming door to door um, with information on how to access the survey. There's a short turnaround time on it. The survey um, should be completed by, I believe, April 12th. Thank you. Awesome, thank you, Jen. Uh, Doug? That's all we have for community announcements. Okay, uh, next on the agenda, uh, new business, other new business, not reasonably anticipated, nothing? None. Okay, uh, old business, FY22 budget, Doug? Sure, thanks, Mike. Uh, and I wanna start by just congratulating Rich on being able to make it as quickly as he did. I understand there was some logistics and travel involved in rental cars and that's uh, impressive, so. <laughs> there's, there's a little bit, I'm, I'm surprised I'm here this early too. <laughs> I just picture you running through the airport. It was a slow jog and a little bit of speed. There you go. <laughs> Very good. Uh, so, you know, when we originally posted this meeting, I, I was anticipating that we were going to have some really very difficult decisions that we'd have to make. And that that's what necessitated at the time um, this sort of off cycle meeting. Um, but since the time that we posted this, we actually got some new information, which really helped us a greatly be able to, to figure this out. So I actually think this should be a, a pretty quick meeting tonight. Um, so we had a meeting last Thursday uh, that included uh, Dr. Cron, uh, Jane Hackett, school committee chair, Jill Maroney, uh, finance committee chair, John Pumphrey, uh, Michael Laughlin, um, our town accountant, Elizabeth Zaleski and me, where we uh, went over the budget. Uh, it was a very productive meeting, very cooperative. I think we were all very pleased um, throughout the meeting and, and with its conclusion. Uh, and I think the best part was uh, Biz and I were able to come to the meeting uh, with a solution to add approximately $400,000 to the local appropriation to the school budget compared to the most recent number that we had been working with. And we were able to fund that uh, basically entirely uh, through some new health insurance projections with some significant premium savings um, again, that we literally just got a day before that meeting was scheduled. Um, so it's really uh, excellent news. We think this is going to get us to where we need to be for our annual town meeting. Again, there's still an understanding that there's going to be um, additional uh, federal and potentially state money as well that we can uh, hold a special town meeting in the early summer um, to supplement. Uh, but we believe with this additional 400000 on the local appropriation to the school budget, um, that will be in very good shape. Um, all those in attendance at the meeting last Thursday were in agreement. Uh, last night, which is Monday night, uh, the school committee unanimously approved it. Um, I'm anticipating you know, that, that this board will be uh, voting similarly tonight and then the finance committee is tomorrow night. Uh, so this really was, was excellent news and, and we think it gets us to where we need to be. On the town side for our budgets, there are just three things that I, I wanna highlight. Well, which represent a change from the last version of the budget that you had. And I wanna highlight that the entire budget is included in the, the town meeting warrant document that I sent you. So rather than have a separate budget document, we have a complete draft of the warrant that includes the line item budget. Uh, the first is just a very small uh, net zero shift of $1,500 from the town hall utility maintenance line up to the custodian line. So that's a net zero, just moving a little bit of money there. Um, with the health insurance savings um, on the town side, we're able to restore uh, the approximately $31,000 uh, in highway department cuts uh, that we were slated to make. So we fully restored the highway department cuts. And then lastly, uh, I've added funding um, for what I'm calling a market correction to the HR director's salary line. Uh, this is something that I've wanted to do since I got here and I didn't have the funding available until late last week to be able to make this change. Uh, I did include in your packet um, a written request from the HR director, kind of explaining the justification for it, as well as uh, two pages of salary comps. Um, and you know, just to note, I'm, I'm not recommending the, uh, the full request um, that she had, but I'm adding an amount that uh, we're able to afford and I think is reasonable and, and gets us um, pretty close to where we need to be. Um, so those are really, 
the only significant changes from the last version of the budget you saw. Um, I'm happy to try to answer any questions and obviously Biz is on the line too and, and she can help build me out as well if I need it. Okay, I'll, uh, thanks Doug. I'll open it up to the, the board. Anybody have any questions for Doug regards to the changes in the budget? Not I. Okay, everybody's shaking their heads. So, uh, so I, I would say no. So Doug, back to you. Great, this meeting is gonna be in record time. So in addition uh, to the budget, again, we have uh, a complete draft of the warrant. Uh, I'm still finding a couple little typos, you know, here or there, but, but uh, substantively, um, this is complete. Uh, it has had a legal review. Um, probably, you know, the, the biggest thing in the warrant, aside from the budget, because that's always the most important thing from my perspective, is the uh, proposed zoning for the overlay district. Um, there's going to be an upcoming uh, public hearing with the planning board, certainly encourage the public um, to watch that or participate in that. Um, we're, you know, planning on having town meeting indoors, uh, similar to how we did uh, the last time. And um, I think that's really, that's really it. If anybody has any questions on the war, I'm happy to try to answer them. We could wait until uh, your meeting on April 6th um, to do like the official vote if you'd like, or you can vote it tonight, but I'm fine waiting until April 6th for that final vote. And then you can sign it right after that. Okay. Uh... So, so before we, we move on, I mean, we can talk about the warrant, but before we move on from this, I, I do want to uh, entertain a motion to vote the FY22 budget, which we didn't just do. So I'll entertain a motion to approve the FY22 budget as printed in our packets. So make the motion. Okay, second. I got a motion and I got a second from Larry. Larry, thanks for clarifying that uh, for me and uh, dropping from that top spot for Rich. So uh, all those in favor, uh, Vice Chairman uh, Nyman, who almost did it again. Always get it wrong. Almost got it. Yes. All right. Uh, Selectman Ryan? Yes. Selectman Penny? Yes. And myself. Okay. So now on to the warrant. Uh, if anybody has any questions, any comments in regards to any specific articles, or if somebody wants to maybe suggest that we, we table it to our April 6th meeting, or we can vote it now if there's no questions or concerns. I believe we should vote it now. I think that uh, Doug and Jen and everybody, Biz, has done a great job putting this all together. It's not, uh, I mean, it's complete. So, mm -hmm. you know, we can vote on it as a complete as we stand. I mean, tomorrow numbers could change and we can always do it again. But, um, you know, to vote on it tonight uh, gives our people a big thank you for doing their job because it tells us that they're done, they've done it. Here it is for us. You know, we got full cool pages of all the stuff you wanted. Every dime that we, every dime that's there is right there. And that's a great thing. And that's what we should have all the way through. And um, thank you for doing a great job. Doug, Jen, Biz, uh, Stacy. thank you so much for all of you. Larry, would that be, would that be that a motion? Be, and I'll make that motion that we accept. Okay, so I have a motion to every second. I'll second. Rich has a second. So all those in favor? Vice Chairman Nyman. Yes. Selectman Ryan. Yes. Selectman Penny. Yes. And myself. Okay. Uh, next on the agenda, other old business not reasonably anticipated. Doug, nothing. Okay. I have none. Uh, number five, town administrators report and correspondence. Doug. Thanks, Mike. Um, the main things we've been working on in the last week is obviously the budget, and uh, we've also been continuing with our uh, union negotiations. Uh, so far, so good. Um, the 2020 annual town report is now out. It's been uh, printed. Uh, there's hard copies available at town hall and other town buildings, and it'll be posted on the town website soon. Um, I also wanted to give a shout out. We did a, a contest like we did last year for, the, uh, for anybody from the public to submit a photo for the cover. And uh, Joe McCourt uh, took the, the winning photo that we selected. And it's a little different this year when, when, you, see, when you see the town report, it's a little bit more of, a, of an ominous uh, photo. And that was really sort of by design given a, the very difficult year we had in, in 2020 with COVID. So we, we thought that was appropriate, but thank you to Joe McCourt for, for the photo, it's wonderful. Um, also just wanted to reiterate that we, we did get some vaccine for the housing authority for Studley Court and Garden Terrace. 
Uh, our fire department personnel are gonna be administering those shots uh, this Thursday and Friday uh, to the residents and staff at those two facilities. Unfortunately, the vaccine is only available for the, for the housing authority, just for Studley Court and Garden Terrace. And I'd be remiss if I didn't also thank Karen Riley, the uh, director at the Rockland Housing Authority, because she also uh, did a ton of legwork helping to request the vaccines and set this up along with our, with our Board of Health and our fire department. So we're excited about that. Along with that announcement, I know there's been questions from some in the community that are homebound asking, you know, how can they get the vaccine if they can't travel to a, to a vaccine site and they're not at a housing authority um, facility uh, building. Um, and the short answer is the state is, is, as we speak, announcing what they're referring to as a homebound vaccine initiative. And there's two different ways that the community can participate in that. They can either opt to receive the vaccine ourselves and we give them to the homebound people, or we could request that the state do it. And so the town of Rockland through the Board of Health, we requested that we'd like to do it ourselves. So as soon as we get vaccine from the state for others that are homebound, we'll get right on it with the help of our fire department. So I just wanted the community to understand that, um, that there is a process in place and we're just waiting for the supply. Um, and with that, that's, that's all that I have. Thank you, Doug, that's, uh, that's great news. Okay, uh, next on the agenda, selectmen's comments. Comment, comments and opinions expressed by individual members do not necessarily reflect the views of the Board of Selectmen, uh, the opinions and comments of only the individual member. Mr. Penny. I have no comments tonight. Excellent, thank you. Mr. Ryan. I would just like to thank the uh, administration and, uh, and all of the town workers for the great job they've done uh, getting all this together and presenting it to, to us and the town in such a explanative uh, manner so that everybody can understand what's going on. Thank you very much. That's all. Thank you, Larry. Vice Chairman Nyman. I just want to reiterate what um, my fellow colleague, uh, Mr. Ryan had to say. Just want to thank Biz, Doug, Jen, the entire team up at Town Hall for their continuous work during this difficult time. Um, you continue to impress us every day. And so thank you for all you do. Thank you, Kara. Uh, so I don't have much. I just want to uh, thank our, uh, our colleagues over at the school department, uh, Dr. Cron, uh, Jane Hackett, and uh, Chairman Joe Maroney, uh, as well as Chairman John Pumphrey of the Finance Committee. Uh, you know, that meeting that meeting's been a little bit different in the past, and, and I was really, really pleased with, with the, um, I think the willingness to have open dialogue, and and you know, there were some questions that, that I think each side had, and, and we were able to you know express some of our you know concerns and, and have um, have things really cleared up, you know, whatever misunderstandings that might have existed, but, but I thought it was a positive, a really positive meeting. I thought the results were, were, were extremely positive. Um, I mean, definitely helped that we had a solution in hand, you know, when we walked in. But, um, you know, I, I'd encourage you guys um, to, to reach out to them more and, and try to set up. And I know you guys do, but try to set up more forums like that, you know, where, you know, maybe, you know, another selectman can, can participate or, you know, another department, you know, uh, some departments that overlap. Just, just kind of a, you know, I think, Doug, you kind of, you know, said something to the effect of, you know, kind of a, a therapy session for, for each department, you know, and I, I think that that's a, a good idea. And I, I thought it went really well and uh, I'm very pleased with how everybody was able to come together and create a budget for the town. So, uh, so with that, I will entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. Motion to adjourn. I got a motion from Larry. I got a second from Rich. All those in favor, Vice Chairman Nyman. Yes. Sucking Ryan. Yes. Sucking Penny. Yes. And myself. Thank you, everyone. Good night. All Thank right. You. Thank you.